I see that person opening the gift. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he's true. so happy or she's so happy. Mm-hmm. I was like that since I was a kid. So I would gather for, for my family and I would make my little secret gifts and then I would put them and I would like to see the face of that person as that person opened mm-hmm. their purse. And I have, you know, like like tradition, like you put money in a wallet mm-hmm. because it means not only good luck, but I'm there for you. Mm-hmm. So those are certain things that many people who don't know me say, oh, gosh, Rocky, you are really spending a lot of money you're really no it is because the joy comes from me Mm -hmm. to see other people happy so i love to throw parties Mm -hmm. and ed loves to enjoy the parties (laughs) so i i love to organize i'm a great organizer so putting together a party great for me I enjoy that every moment, more than the party itself. <laughs> <laughs> and because I am always just the person who organizes it, emcees it, and everything. So, as you saw in my 70th birthday, mm-hmm. I was joyful. It gives you a little headache because you got a lot of people that you will depend on if they're going to come through. Mm-hmm. But you're happy while you're doing it. Most beautiful and event. So to me, I'm also very organized. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do the book. I couldn't do the uh, the uh, documentary. As the producer said to me, you're the best historian, archivist, and editor. <laughs> so those are things that are traits that I have. And I am very happy that I can use, put them to good use. God gave me those talents. Now I can use them mm-hmm. for the greater good of society. By the way, is there any special outfit that Colonel Ramsey wants to see you wearing all the time? Uh, he loved me in any outfit that I wore because he said whatever I placed on, I looked fabulous. <laughs> so, so, I mean, always uh, suits. He loved me in suits mm-hmm. and he loved me in gowns. Mm. What about him? What do you love him to wear? Oh, always his tuxedo. He looked fabulous, handsome as ever. And his military uniform. Yes, of course. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yes. His green beret. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you keep all his uniforms? Are they all in Well, they are now going to every museum. Oh, I wow. have two more uniforms here. One went to the Oklahoma Military Academy. One went to the Cavalry Museum. One went to the OU, University of Oklahoma, uh, where he went to law school. And I am keeping the other two for Fort Belvoir, the Mm -hmm. Army Museum that will open in Washington. They've already asked me for pieces to place in the museum. Mm -hmm. So that's where they'll be going. And now his outfit for Polo. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing it now to the Oklahoma Military Academy where he played Mm -hmm. So are you um, establishing a museum yourself, a small museum for him? Well, you know, that is one thing that has come into my mind, but a lot of people have asked me in Manila, in Manila, in the Philippines, you know, they want some uh, memorabilia of Ed there. Mm -hmm. In Los Angeles, they want to set up in San Francisco. So, I mean, there are different places where I may put them. But, you know, if these pieces that I have in the house, mm-hmm. I mean, they are beautiful pieces that I would like to be moved to a museum. Right. 